Hello and welcome to Journey to Easter. Today is Tuesday of the first week of Lent. Uh, it is February the 20th. Um, our gospel today, Matthew, uh, in chapter 6 of uh, today's gospel in the 7th and 8th uh, verse, uh, is, it reads like this. It says, Jesus says, said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think they will be heard because of their many words, not like do not be like them. I think is, uh, Jesus is offering us a, a simple challenge here. And that is, uh, you, know, you know, when we pray, um, you know, be careful, you know, not to just babble on with words that don't make any sense or words that, you know, aren't really bringing something, you know, to, to help transform us. I mean, prayer should be something that, uh, you know, is this personal conversation, you know, with God, our personal conversation with our Lord. I mean, yes, we can babble, and, and there's many ways that, uh, you know, we can just rattle off words, um, but, you know, is it bringing you clo into a closer relationship with them? Because ultimately, you know, when we pray, I mean, we're communicating, and we're trying to get to know God just a little bit better. We're trying to get to know the Lord just a little bit better. We're trying to get to know what his purpose is in our lives. Um, I always tell young people, especially during the confirmation journey, um, you know, when we talk about prayer, uh, how important it is, you know, that uh, we communicate because, you know, you think of that person that we want to get to know. Um, we get to know them by talking, by listening, by asking questions, by answering questions. You know, we get to know them because we have a personal contact with them. You know, Jesus uh, today is, is really challenging us to say, get personal. You know, you think of the Lord's Prayer. I mean, that is the the prayer that our Lord gave us. And, uh, you know, he, 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 we begin that prayer by saying, you know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I mean, that is very personal. You know, we're trying to get into this deeper relationship with him, you know, by calling him Father, by calling him Daddy, by calling him Abba. You know, we're saying we want to have a deep relationship with you. you know, so I think, you know, when it comes to prayer, we do have to be careful. You know, we can get, you know, into this routine of just reading things and not really thinking about what we're reading. You know, but do we take the time to let that sink in? Do we take the time to let God speak to us, you know, in those words? I mean, we have a lot of beautiful prayers out there, a lot of rote prayer, that prayer that, you know, we memorize. And, and it's, it's not that it's bad. It's not at all. But be careful not to be just routine with it. You know, don't just babble on or rattle off those words. Speak them. Talk to God. Listen to God. You know, develop that deep relationship and see where that takes you. You know, Lent is about prayer. And we're challenged to pray just a little bit more. You know, maybe that'll take us beyond even Easter because we want to have that personal deeper relationship with our Lord. Continue your journey to Easter.